the last theory that we will discuss is about finding the symbols of roots of, of functions. Now, it pertains to Becker's rule of assign. In some cases, the following rule, discovered by the French mathematician René Descartes, eliminates a long list of potential zeros from rational zeros theorem process. This process needs the concept of variation in sign. If P of X is a polynomial with real coefficients written in standard form, then variation in sign occurs whenever adjacent coefficients have opposite signs. Example here, f of x equals 3x to the 5th power plus 6x to the 4th power minus x cubed minus 7x squared plus 13x minus 8. We do have here three variations. Why? The first variation here is from positive 6x to the 4th power minus x cubed. The second variation here is from negative 7x squared to 13x. Then the third, it's from positive 13x minus 2, negative 8. So we need to say class alternating symbols. You just count the terms with alternating symbols. Let's have a um, few examples. In 4x cubed, minus 2x squared plus 15x minus 9 we do have here three variations looking at the symbols from positive 4x cubed to negative 2x squared that's first from negative 2x squared plus 15x that's second then from positive 15x to negative 9 that's the third so we do have here three variations in second example we have we only have here one variation. In the third example, we have here five variations. Just count the alter alternating symbols of terms. In the last example, we only have one here variation, and that is from positive 16x to um, negative 8. So, what is the connection of this variation in, in identifying the real roots of polynomial functions? Descartes rule of sign states that the number of positive real roots of P of X either equals the number of variation in sign of the non-zero coefficients of P of X or else equals that number less than an even number. What does this mean? To identify the positive real roots, you just count the variation of the given and function. Then, if uh, we have here condition, you have to subtract it with an even number, which is, um, in this case, we have 2. However, you should stop if the result, when you subtract it by 2, with negative. Okay? Then, to identify... Um, on the other hand, the negative real roots um, that is equal the number of variation in sign of the non-zero coefficients of p of negative x. We have here again p of negative x or else equals that number less than an even number. So this time, it's p of negative x. So let's have first example. Use Descartes' rule of sign to determine the possible number of positive, negative, and non-real roots of p of x is equal to x to the fourth power plus 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 5. Now looking at the given p of x, we can now identify the positive real roots by counting the alternating symbol. Looking at the given, we have 1, 2, and then 3. So meaning to say, class, um, coupling up with our first equation here, the number of positive real roots is 3. That's for your case 1 because for the second case class, you have to subtract it with 2. Okay, 3 minus 2, we have now 1. So meaning to say, class, in case number 2, the positive real root um, is 1. 
Then, for negative real root, we should get first the p of negative x. Let's identify now p of negative x to identify the negative real root. Solving the negative, solving p of negative x, the given would be this. So our p of negative x here is x to the fourth power minus 2x cubed minus 4x squared minus 2x minus 5. Now counting class the alternating symbols of p of negative x, we only have one negative real root. So meaning to say class, coming up with your negative real roots, in case 1 we only have 1. Then for your case to class, you just copy whatever the number of negative real roots you have in case number 1. I repeat, you just copy the number of negative real roots you have in case number 1. Then, now coming up with the summary class in case 1, 3 plus 1 is 4. So meaning to say class, for the non-real roots we have here, zero non-real roots. Why? Because the given is in fourth degree. The number of roots must correspond class to the degree of the given. Since the given is in fourth degree, there is no need for us to have non-real roots in case number one because in positive real roots we have here three, in negative real roots we have one and that makes it four already. Now, let's have case number 2. Now, in case number 2, we have here 1 positive real root and we have negative, I mean 1 negative real root. Now, since the given is in 4th degree, the total number of roots must be 4. So, to make it equal to 4, meaning to say class, the non-real root for case number 2 must be 2 to have a sum of 4. So these are now our two cases in identifying the Descartes rule of sign of the given P of X. Let's have another example. Use Descartes rule of sign to identify um, the real roots and the non-real roots of the given P of X equals 7x to the fourth power minus 2x cubed plus 9x squared minus 10x plus 1. Counting the alternating symbols of p of x, we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So meaning to say class, for your case 1, the positive real roots must be 4. Now for your case 2, you subtract 2 again with, uh, with your answer in your first case. So this will be 4 minus 2 is 2, and that is your positive real roots for case 2. Now since the result is still not negative, we should come up with our case number 3. In case number 3, the positive real roots must be 0 because 2 minus 2 is 0. So that is, uh, well in this problem we have 3 cases um, or 3 scenarios. Let's continue. Let's identify now the negative non-real roots of the given by identifying p of negative x. Solving p of negative x of the given, we have... Seven x to the fourth power plus two x cubed plus nine x squared 
plus 10x plus 1. If this is our p of negative x, and there's no alternating symbols in p of negative x, meaning to say class, there is no negative non-real roots. So, in case 1, we have 0. In case 2, we have 0 because you will copy again what's in your case 1. So, same with case 3. The non-real roots for negative must be 0. Now, the given is in 4th degree. So, if you're going to add the real roots and the non-real roots of 3 cases class, it should be 4. In case 1, since 4 plus 0 is already 4, the non-real roots must be 0 for it to be equal to 4. In case 2, we have two positive non uh, we have two positive real roots, 0 real roots, meaning to say class, the non-real roots here must be 2 to make it 4 again. For your case number 3, the non-real roots here must be 4 because there are no positive and negative real roots. So these are um, now the three cases um, using the Descartes rule of sign of the given in our example.